Hi, this is Tom from zero to finals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through melatonin. And you can find written notes on this topic at zero to finals.com slash melatonin or in the zero to finals endocrine system book. And you can find flashcards and questions to train your knowledge and help you remember the information for longer at members.zerotofinals.com. So let's jump straight in. Melatonin is a hormone released by the pineal gland, which is a pea-sized gland located in the center of the brain. It plays an important role in controlling the circadian rhythm and the sleep-wake cycle. There's a relationship between light exposure and melatonin. Exposure to bright light, for example in the morning, reduces melatonin and the levels rise in dark environments, for example at night time. Let's go through some clinical relevance. Exposure to light in the evening strongly suppresses melatonin, resulting in difficulty falling asleep and a phase shift in the sleep pattern, with a later onset of sleep and difficulty waking early in the morning. Delayed sleep phase syndrome, or DSPS, involves an onset of sleep and waking more than two hours later than desired. Let's go through the function of melatonin. Melatonin promotes the onset of sleep. The levels rise in the evening, peak in the middle of the night and fall in the morning and remain low during the day. Melatonin receptors, MT1 and MT2, are found throughout the body. Notably, they're found in the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which is a structure in the anterior hypothalamus responsible for circadian rhythm. In addition to promoting sleep and controlling circadian rhythm, it also helps lower the body temperature and lower the blood pressure. Let's talk about disruption. Disruption to melatonin and the circadian rhythm may occur with delayed sleep phase syndrome, or DSPS, shift work, for example variable working hours between night and day shifts, jet lag, seasonal affective disorder potentially involving increased melatonin during the dark winter months, and autistic spectrum disorder which may be associated with low melatonin levels. Melatonin levels decline with increasing age. Finally, let's talk about medications. Melatonin as a medication is used to treat sleep disorders. It may be used short term when treating insomnia and jet lag or longer term when treating sleep disorders associated with chronic conditions, for example learning disability. Research has consistently shown that testing yourself after learning a topic has a powerful effect on how long you retain that information. This is known as the testing effect. Studying and then testing yourself results in longer lasting and stronger recall on that information when tested at a later date, even when compared with additional study sessions. If you're preparing for a medical exam and you're not regularly testing your knowledge and practicing your recall, you're failing to maximize your potential. The Zero to Finals member site contains flashcards, short answer questions, multiple choice questions and extended matching questions that are purpose built to supplement the Zero to Finals content helping you build your internal database of knowledge and take advantage of the powerful testing effect. If you like the Zero to Finals notes, books, videos and podcasts, then you'll love the member's site.